Hey, girl. So we've got one, two, and then way back here in the new chicken run, another doorway. So we need to make three gates today. And I'll be making them the same way that I do, that I did this last one here, which was four corner and reinforcements, the two bars across. So my two foot hardware cloth would fit over in two sections, nice and easy. So we'll just replicate that afternoon after work here on a Thursday, just rained last night. Garden prep here, as you can tell, uh, there's lots of mulch. So I re-mulched this whole garden area this year and put up new fencing. T-posts all the way down instead of the chicken wire that we had. And Hopefully we'll have a successful garden this year, Lord willing. Up. I use these two by two furring strips, which are actually about one and a half by one and a half. And I just do usually 48 inches tall uh, for the midsection, then tops and bottoms, I add whatever the width is. Then I'll add these two braces in the middle. And then I'll put my two foot hardware cloth on each section in the middle, and also the hinges on one side, and then I'll attach them to the posts. Next thing I did after I have my frame together is I just cut these little 45 degree angle reinforcements. I'll attach those to each corner and believe it or not, they make a big difference as far as keeping it square, uh, as square as it can get, but <laughs> keeping it from warping uh, in the weather and keeping it together. So we're gonna put these four corner reinforcements in now. Uh, if you notice this little fluffy thing, I bought this on Amazon. I'll put the link below. I believe it was, I can't remember, $20, $30. It's not the high dollar, $300 system, but giving it a shot to see if it'll work better. It's a little windy out here and it's usually hard on my videos to hear me. So hopefully uh, this thing works and you can just give me feedback on what you think. Have our 
wood pile and scrap wood pile here. Got my son in the very back and daughter wanting to make them a blind to shoot their bow and arrows out of. So I said, go for it. Now I'm gonna put the hinges on the door. Uh, for this size, I probably put, depending on the size of the hinges, I would put three if they were this larger uh, two inch size. But with this smaller one, which is about two inches as well, but it's just smaller uh, width wise. I'd probably use four of those. But uh, I'm just repurposing an old hinge. Uh, these I bought off of Amazon. I'll put a link below. And I think there was 20 in there with the screws for like $10. It's uh, super inexpensive. So I'm just gonna add the hinges on there and then we're gonna go out to the run and put it on the garden door. Now that I got the door done, I got a piece of wood underneath just to keep it off the ground. And then I'll pre-drill the holes, which I already did one. And I'll get the frame put in. So I had to make some adjustments. Moved it up just a hair. And because the All right, babe. Um, because the angle of the poles here, I needed to sand off the bottom edge at an angle just a tiny bit because it was catching at the bottom. So things you have to do when you make tight measurements. It's all part of it. Let's see. All right. It does have a catch at the bottom if it goes too far. However, one thing I like to do on these fences, I used to do latches to keep uh, critters from getting in. But honestly, I just cut these furring strips. I'll put one or two, depending on if it's crooked. Just one second, sweetie. Uh, on the back side, so it can't be pushed in. And then I'll just put one or two top and bottom up here that will swivel and just keep the gate locked that way. So we see, garden door is complete. Door posts weren't completely square, so they're a little off tilt there but these are my locks door opens door closes and then we lock it up so there you have it there's one door done I have two more to go and that'll wrap up the night What's up, Midas? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. Just an afternoon here at the homestead. 
after my full-time job. What's up, Hen? <laughs> but uh, yeah, have two more doors to do, and we'll get them put up, and then uh, need to work on getting the fencing up for our new chicken run and many other projects. I'm thankful to have the garden mostly completed, uh, just beginning of March, so uh, I believe the last frost is the second week before May here this year. Uh, so hopefully we'll get a lot planted and we'll have videos come this summer. If you have any questions, comments, or thoughts, please leave them below. And as always, thanks for stopping by and God bless. Close up. Oh.